away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Happy Monday, everybody. What did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on ah. you. Uh, okay, done my workout for the morning. It felt very nice. Good day. Happy Monday. I want to link the Caroline, I don't know, Caroline Gervan. I did one of her like dumbbell strength epic workouts and she did like three or four sets of moves and then each one you did it over three times and I'm not gonna lie like it was too tough. She was doing like burpees with the dumbbells and stuff so I did each one twice and I was absolutely wrecked by the end. I did a pretty slow peloton but feeling good this morning gonna hop in the shower and then we're going to get to filming today hello i am dressed for the day I have showered, got all the jewels on, I got dressed real quick. I'm gonna go back in the bathroom, but I just got so hungry. So I came down just to make my little, my coffee protein mixture, cause I never, I never finish my coffee and it actually works out perfect. I have a little bit of coffee before my workout and then when I'm done, I take my protein powder and I can finish my coffee and it just makes a delicious iced mocha. It is lovely. Anyway, this is a super old blue shirt and then these are the denim forum. Why can I never remember? It's either Mia or Gia. I have both. All I know is it's the something, the carrot. I will link the exact pair below. I've been wearing these so much. Anyway, this is the outfit for the day. Let us blend a copy. <laughs> I cannot believe how long I have had this protein. It has lasted forever. I have this every day, if not twice a day. Whoop. I added a little bit more ice and it's a little bit more like frappuccino-esque. Ah, very nice. Cheers. So while I drink my little protein coffee, I just need to have a little blast through some emails quick because today's a busy day. I have a lot of filming this morning. I need to film a reel. I have a call at noon and then ideally I need to film and edit a video this afternoon. Every day may, baby. The busy time is upon us. Um, so I just need to get some emails out, solidify my plan for the day. Wow, the construction out there, guys, honestly, is so crazy. Yesterday, oh, yesterday it was really bad. Dan and I were sitting here on our computers and we were like, we have a headache from this. Like, the drilling and the hammering, it's just crazy. And this, this place is actually really good. Like, whatever windows they've used are really great for soundproofing. But like, oh my God. Hi. Good morning. Good day. How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> All right, friends. Hello. We meet again in the bathroom. My email power hour is done. I have drank my coffee protein. Drilling is still rolling outside, but I must press on and film this reel regardless. So I am filming a reel using like a new mascara and some color products. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my base first and my eyebrows. Honestly, I don't know if you guys have been noticing this in videos in general, but I've just been doing my brows before anything because it's been taking me a really long time. Like I've been trying to take my time with my brows. I've been using a couple of different products when doing my brows. I've been switching it up. And so I've just been doing it on the side before I film anything. So right now I'm gonna do my base. I'm gonna do my brows. I did my skincare earlier when I got out of the shower, the same usual SkinCeuticals lineup. But I wanna to talk to you about my little SPF 
and my base here. And this portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Supergoop. And Supergoop is a brand that I've worked with a ton in the past. I've mentioned them so much in my videos. And my favorite, favorite product from them is the glow screen. And this wasn't previously available in Canada. They'd really kindly sent it to me before it was available in Canada. And I was itching for you guys to be able to get your hands on it here. And then when it was launched in Canada, I mentioned it to you guys. I mentioned it in the Sephora sale. It's a beautiful, beautiful product. And what's really nice with this is me and sunscreen, we haven't been the best of friends over the years. I've definitely struggled with actually keeping up with it and applying sunscreen. Products like this make it really easy to remember to use it because this glow screen in particular, it has the broad spectrum SPF 40 in it, but then it's also a makeup primer. It's kind of like a two in one. So this is a product I go to when I'm wanting to focus on a makeup look. It adds a beautiful glow to your skin. It's incredibly hydrating. It's got vitamin B5, niacinamide. It's got C lavender in it, and it's just a beautiful, well, I'm just gonna show you. So I just wanna show you the product here. It's got a really nice tint to it and it adds such a juicy glow to the skin. So if a concern you have with SPF is not being able to apply it under makeup, a product like this just makes it so great because it's SPF but also a makeup primer in one. So it just adds a gorgeous, hydrating layer to the skin. It has a nice little tint, so like in the summer months, you best believe I'm gonna be rocking outside with just this on my skin. And it's just nice to have like an arsenal of SPFs that work for your skin type. Like I have really, really sensitive skin and I've had a really good experience with these Super Goop SPFs and this one is no different. A little bit goes a long way. You use about like, they say a quarter of a teaspoon amount to cover your whole face and it just, blends in so beautifully to the skin and it just wears so nicely under makeup. It's got like, even on my fingers, I just have this lovely little, like it's not glittery. It's not a glittery shimmer. It does just give a beautiful glow to the skin. So that's my SPF for the day. I am still so guilty of forgetting to put my SPF on, when, especially like while we're still in lockdown and we're staying at home. I'm like, oh, I'm inside, I don't need it. But definitely like super goops, big mission is to promote wearing SPF every day, no matter what. I've seen a few TikToks of people being like, oh, you don't wear SPF inside your house? And then the woman's like sitting in front of her window and the sun is streaming through. And I'm like, ah, oh, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> so I think having options like in your skincare routine and then also having an option that works beautifully with your makeup routine is awesome. So Supergoop is definitely like a huge pioneer in putting SPF in so many different products. Like they have eyeshadows with SPF in it. Like they make some pretty incredible things. So if you haven't checked out Supergoop products before and you're looking to expand your SPF wardrobe, definitely check out the brand and Glow Screen's one of my top favorites. So I will link to where you can purchase this below. You can get it on their website, you can get it on Sephora and officially on Sephora Canada, which is very exciting. So Supergoop, thank you so much as always for working with me. I love Glow Screen and I'm such a huge fan of the brand. And they've also very kindly included Glow Screens for our Everyday May giveaways, which I know I haven't talked about yet, but we're gonna be mentioning it later in this video video and today is actually our first everyday May giveaway. Guys, they're massive. We're doing five giveaways this month, five big giveaways. Supergoop has very kindly contributed to that. But just hold your horses. Wait till the end of this video, okay? I promise it's worth it. <laughs> so that's the sunscreen. Y'all, we are protected for the day. I'm gonna do my brows now. I'll show you guys what I'm doing for that these days. Still using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. Honestly, considering how much I've used this, I'm like really impressed with how much product is left in here. Sorry, my mirror like in the bathroom here is over here, 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 here. So I just press this up and I kind of just push the product in with my fingers. So once I do the slick up, here's where it gets a little bit interesting. You guys know how much I love my NYX brow tint pens. Sorry, there's a hair, but like honestly, fuzzies just like float in the air and land on my sticky skincare face. Anyway, I use my NYX brow tint pens and my struggle with these is that I'm just not patient. Like my brows already take me such a long time in the morning. I try and just like reduce that time as much as possible. And with the brow tint pens, I love the look, but it does take me a really long time to paint the individual hairs on, okay? So I've also mentioned in the past the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen. I've had these for a long time and I mentioned before, it was like a whole thing. <laughs> I had tried it, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. This brow pen has three prongs on it. So instead of painting an individual hair, you're painting three on at once. So on this like interior portion of my brow, it takes me like two seconds and like three strokes to fill in all of the hairs there, which makes it amazing. But 
they say, and Benefit had sent me a package like after I talked about it in a video, I was like, guys, like I'm a little bit disappointed. Like once I slick my hair with my product, whether it was the brow freeze or the got to be gel, whatever, it doesn't like it, it doesn't paint on, it doesn't work. And then Benefit had like sent me a note in a package like after that video being like, yeah, you need to use this on bare skin. It was a whole thing. So I've come up with a compromise on how I can get the best of both worlds like using these efficiently. So what I do is I take my NYX brow tint pen. I'm gonna use, yeah, I'm gonna use ash brown actually. So with the NYX pen, I will take this and I paint like the inside the inside, the outside half of my brow. I use this to draw the hairs like in the center. So this area is like where the Benefit pen would not work because this is like where the bulk of like the gel is sitting, like the bulk of the brow freeze. So I just use this to paint in there because the NYX pen just glides on it no problem. Like that's already so much more full back there. So I'll do the same on this side. So like that. So now the outside is full and then I go in with the Benefit one. This one's in the shade light brown and I just use this on the inside of my brow. So like it just so easily, oh, I think I screwed that up. Sorry, I'm so far away from my mirror right now. Whoop. Yeah, it just so easily and quickly it fills that in. And because like this is where I literally have no hair on my brows. It's technically still applying it onto bare skin. And so it works like a charm, no problem. Yeah, look at that. And then I kind of just like sit and fiddle and make sure that they're as even as possible. Oh yeah, and then that's the brow. It's honestly, it's been the best because it's removed my like annoyance with having to be really, really delicate. Like I'm just not good. I have a shaky hand. <laughs> I'm not patient when drawing the individual hairs where I'm like literally bald here on my brow. So I know that it's like a lot to use multiple products. Like this is now a three product brow routine, but it's like my most efficient and easiest brow routine. And it's like the best way for me to get that feathery brow look. So that's the update there for you. I hope this was helpful for anyone who's been asking about like my updated brow routine. This has been pretty foolproof for me. I know it's a lot, but let me know what your guys' updated brow routines are. I'm curious to hear how you've been doing them. So I've got my products set up. I've got the tripod in the bathroom. I'm gonna film a reel on my phone. The phone camera is just kind of the best option when I'm filming a reel. I really struggle with <laughs> the real life, keeping up with the creative kids. I kind of just, we're gonna try. Anyway, I'm gonna film the reel. Hopefully all will go well. And then I have a call at noon. So I'll see you guys after when I'm done filming the reel. Done. Okay, I filmed the reel guys. I did this makeup look. Pause for dramatic effect. How does it look in the camera? <laughs> the call is in 24 minutes, it's 11.30. I am so hungry, let's whip up some actual breakfast, AKA brunch, but regardless, let's feast. So I've got potatoes, we've got spinach, eggs and egg whites, a little sprinkle of cheese, avocado. I've shown this before, but I'm gonna make my little egg bake. I'll really quickly show you how I do it. First of the first, I'm gonna grab a big pan. I'm gonna let there be flame. I'm gonna grab a lid too. I've got this little avocado oil spray, so I'm gonna spray that in the pan. I'm gonna take the potatoes, put that in the pan, kind of spread that around. Spread. Then I'm gonna sprinkle so much spinach because the spinach whittles down to nothing. Cover all the potatoes in spinach and then I put the lid on it and just kind of steam it for a hot sec until the spinach gets a little bit more wilted. So I'm gonna cut up the avocado in the meantime. Oh. That's a good one. That is a good avocado. When I slice my avocado, I like to do this, like when it's in the skin. Boop, boop. And then I just scoop it out with a spoon and it makes it very easy. Also a great TikTok hack that I learned, the half of the avocado that you're not using, leave a seed in it, wet a piece of paper towel and put it on the avocado. I just store it like this in the fridge and it doesn't turn brown. It's genius. So now that it's nice and wilted, I'm gonna crack the eggs in here. I like to add a little bit of egg white too and then I steam it again until the eggs are cooked. <gasps> oh my God, that egg is bad. Ew. Oh no. <laughs> I 
Okay, we'll just, uh, we got a little less potato and a little less spinach. She's cooking up, almost ready. I'm gonna take the lid off, sprinkle some cheese, put the lid back on, let it chill for another minute. Et voila, brunch is served. Guys, I've never eaten breakfast so quickly in my life. <laughs> teeth check. I am not confident that I just checked my teeth properly there. All right, pals, I'm just hopping on the Zoom, having a good little little chat with Nude Sticks. Hello! Oh, I'm not on yet. Oh, hello! <laughs> hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. It looks so good. It's so cute. Right? Oh, wow. I had to get my hair out of the way. I just put it up in a clip, guys. It's been a busy day so far. It's 1.30. We'll have some lunch. And the day will press on. Had a really great call with Nude Sticks. I am very, very excited for you guys to see what we have cooking up. We've teased it a couple of times. You'll only have seen that if you follow us on Instagram, but we even teased it last year. When did I do the live with them? We did a live and we teased it. Taylor teased it. It's been cooking up for a hot minute, absolutely. So very excited. We are getting there. Ordered some Cobb's bread, made a sandwich for lunch, and how to get a sneaky cinnamon bun too. Eee! Eee! Good evening, everyone. I got my shirt in the mail today. This is a fabulous pink, pink Floyd t-shirt. And I am actually like, it's one of those things that you put on and it makes me feel happy. If you're a Pink Floyd fan, <sighs> this shirt is everything. I'm gonna link it in the description box down below. Anyway, cinnamon buns and sandwich, what a dream. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog tonight by taking you guys through the everyday May giveaways and how it's gonna run down this month. If you are new to my channel, usually every single May, everyday May, and then during Landmas in December, Vlogmas, aka my Landmas. I do some big giveaways here and usually it's a little bit random. This month for everyday May, we have a lot going on. <laughs> currently and Dan and I wanted to make the giveaways as simple and seamless as possible for both of us to do this month and they're going to be very exciting and I wanted to show you guys what's going to be in every box. So in May, starting today, there's five Mondays in May. So we're gonna be doing five giveaways and each one is going to be on a Monday. So I'd love for you to check back every day and watch every video that we upload, but like Mondays are the poppin' days. Mondays are gonna be the giveaway day. So every Monday, we're going to be choosing a winner within 24 hours of the video going live. It is open to everyone. We always do <laughs> international giveaways to the dismay of my credit card when we go to pay for shipping. <laughs> but I love absolutely all of you and I want everyone to be able to have a chance to enter to win the giveaways. So there's gonna be five giveaways, five winners every Monday, check back and after 24 hours, a winner will be chosen. I don't ever announce it. I always feel like it's kind of like a privacy thing. I don't know, I feel weird being like, hello, you, Brenda, you've won. <laughs> I just write it in the description box. So if you've won, you will know because you will be contacted. So just hopefully that makes it clear for everyone. Only enter once. If you've entered multiple times, we use a tracker that shows that like, I don't make you share anything. I don't make you tag 10 friends and blah, blah. Like literally just comment down below. Make sure to include your email and your Instagram handle and one winner will be chosen every, that was in me. One winner will be chosen every Monday. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in the boxes. Dan and I have purchased a ton of products. I'll show you guys what we've purchased, but there's also some brands who have so generously and kindly and lovingly contributed some products for the giveaway. So I'll be sure to mention some are late. We do have some issues with some shipping delays. Uh, so I'll be sure to mention everything that is gonna be in the giveaway boxes, but we won't actually be shipping the boxes out until about mid-May when we're expecting to receive all of the products that have yet to arrive. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that's here. Here's the piles. So far, here are the five giveaway piles all set and ready to go. I'm gonna show you what's gonna be in every single everyday May giveaway box. Okay. First of all, I'll take you through the brands who are very kindly contributing products to the giveaways because I wanna give a huge thanks to them. Thank you so much. SkinCeuticals, first of all, everyone is getting a triple lipid restore cream and a resveratrol BE. These are my two top products, like universal products that anyone can use. You know, like the vitamin C's and certain serums and whatnot, like it's kind of dependent on your skin type, but these are two products that I absolutely love and everyone can use. SkinCeuticals, oh, there's my dinner. <laughs> 
SkinCeuticals, thank you so much. This is so incredibly generous and I'm so excited for some of you to be able to get your hands on this. Benefit is going to be sending out the Porefessional Super Setters. I absolutely love this, it's amazing. Benefit, thank you so much. This is one of the products that we are waiting on so I'm just showing you mine but that will be in the box. Amika, bless Amika, thank you so much. They're gonna be sending over the Cure Multitask Repair Treatment. Obviously, this has been a huge favorite of mine lately. It's amazing, and I feel like it's one of those masks that just anyone can use regardless of what your hair type is. So, a beautiful, beautiful hair treatment mask. Youth to the people, thank you, God. Thank you, Youth to the people. They are sending over my favorite Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. I absolutely love this. I've gone through multiple tubs of this and it's a beautiful, very quick, easy facial to use. Thank you so much for sending this for the giveaways. Super Goop is gonna be sending over the glow screens. This is actually the backup that I have. <laughs> It is a fabulous SPF makeup primer in one, and I feel like everyone who uses this will absolutely love it. It is stunning, Supergoop, thank you so much. Okay, the final brand contribution is very, very exciting, you guys. <laughs> I have been wearing this every day. <laughs> Ironically, I'm not wearing it right now, but it would actually look so good. You guys, Jenny Bird, the amazing jewelry designer and brand that is local here in Toronto, they are going to be including the Tony chain necklace, the necklace that I have been wearing so much. It's such a favorite jewelry piece of mine. They're gonna be including this in each of the five giveaway boxes. Jenny Bird, that is so generous, so amazing. Thank you so much. I, like, it's so fabulous. I'm, I'm so excited about this and I can't wait for some of you to get your hands on this. It's, it's such a great piece. It's absolutely beautiful and what an amazing, piece to have in the giveaways. So Jenny Bird, thank you guys. And the final pile, keep in mind, these are there's five of these. There's gonna be five of these boxes, guys. I'll show you what we have picked up for the giveaways. I had to include, like this was the same in the Landmas giveaways, but I had to pick up my Ula Henriksen Fat Glow Facial. I love this and I feel like everyone can use it and will fall in love with it too. It's a beautiful, beautiful mask. I put in a beauty blender, the black one. What a treat, makes your makeup look flawless and amazing. <gasps> oh my God, you guys, the brow freezes came back and stuff. So yes, I went and bought five, did a curbside pickup. Every every one of the giveaways is gonna be getting an Anastasia brow freeze. Um, I also put in the Lancome Lashy Doll Mascara. I'm probably gonna include some other mascaras, honestly. Like I might have to toss my Bite Up Swing mascara in there too. I just picked these up during the Sephora sale. Wanted to include a mascara. I also put the MAC Brush Stroke brown, what, brush brown, <laughs> brush brown, brush stroke liner. I mentioned that this has been my favorite kind of most amazing brown liquid liner discovery. So I had to pick these up to include in each of them for you. And then, you know what, this is totally random. I don't know why I did this actually, I mean, I mean, I know why, but the YSL Rouge Volup Shine Oil and Sticks. These lipsticks, they're just so luxe to me. I love them. There's so many different shades. So I actually just bought five different shades. I bought five different versions of these and just put one of them in each. And I kind of just bought my favorites. Like this one's number nine. Another box has a number 86. This box got an 88, so on and so forth. So I just picked up five of the YSL lipsticks. They're so luxe and what a beautiful, thing to include as a gift. The packaging is just... Okay, then for a palette, I always love to include some kind of an eyeshadow palette and I was kind of racking my brains of which ones would be the most versatile and most suitable for absolutely everybody and I landed on the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette. So I picked up five of these palettes. It's such a gorgeous, neutral, everyday palette that will, but like, will get you through all of the looks that you could possibly need. This just has all of the mattes that you could wish for in your makeup eyeshadow world and yeah it's one of my favorites so pick that up to include and then obviously obviously guys i had to include my mac collaboration this is my mac x alanorama kit which this in itself is such a huge box of products to include you get the see-through lip glass the stripped down lip pencil mac coconut fix plus mac gold light strobe cream and the whisper of guilt highlighter. So this is a big bad boy. I am so excited for some of you to get your hands on this that perhaps weren't able to with the collection launch. So this is absolutely going into each giveaway. And then there's also another <laughs> product perhaps that I've been working on behind the scenes for a very long time. Not my own brand. Another collaboration that may or may not be coming out later in May that I may or may not can't show you yet and uh, that particular item will also be included in the giveaways. So absolutely massive giveaways. 
five of these check back every Monday. Thank you so much to all the brands who participated in these giveaways. And I hope that you guys are really excited. I, I love doing these giveaways. I love putting them together. It's kind of like if I were to ever have like a subscription box, it's like, here's my favorite products all bundled into a little giveaway box of joy. So be sure to check the description box on how to enter to win the giveaways as they come. And that's everything. Five giveaways in May, baby. Happy every day, May, day three. I hope you're all having a beautiful day or night wherever you are. And thank you so much for watching this vlog and for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. Posting every day in May, baby. We'll see you all back here tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!